Good evening, friends. Stephen Benoit with Israeli News Live, and I want to share with you guys, I know I've already shared a little bit of information with you about the Ukraine crisis, and but I'm going to be a little bit more blunt than what I have already. Now, we really need a lot of help. I, I just hate to put it bluntly, but we need a lot of help in exposing Hunter Biden and Joe Biden and their illegal uh, funneling of money off this Ukraine pipeline uh, that Russia, you know, Russia sends the Nord Stream 2 from across Ukraine into Germany. And this is how the, they're able to provide, uh, you know, gas for uh, the European uh, states there. And at a much cheaper price than what America does. Well, as I've said to you guys already, there's a lot of kickbacks that Joe Biden and Hunter Biden are getting, mainly as Hunter Biden. Uh, in the tunes of millions and millions of dollars a year. And Russia's really tired of paying that bill constantly. Uh, they've been paying it, but they've just had enough. And this is what's really caused a lot of the tensions that are going on. And I know a lot of people might think, oh gosh, no, that can't really be so. It is. It is. And I have an old article from 2013 up on the board right now for you, Investors Business Daily. Obama's military coup purges 197 officers in five years. It says here, defense, what the president calls my military is being cleansed of any officer suspected of disloyalty to or disagreement with the administration on matters of policy or force structure, leaving the complaint and fearful. We recognize President Obama as the commander in chief and that throughout history, presidents from Lincoln to Truman have seen fit to remove military commanders they view as inadequate or insubordinate. Turnover in the military ranks is normal, and in these times, in uh, sequestration and budget cuts, the numbers are expected to tick up as force levels shrink and missions change. Yet, what has happened to our true, or excuse me, our officer's corps since President Obama took office is viewed in many quarters as unprecedented, baffling, even harmful to our national security uh, posture. We have commented on some of the higher profile cases, such as General Carter Ham. He was relieved as head of the U.S. Africa Command after only a year and a half because he disagreed with orders not to mount a rescue mission in response to the September 11, 2012 attack in Benghazi. All right. Now, I want to just highlight that for you there. Just keep this one right here in mind, right? I can't say very much on some issues this, but let me just put it to you this way. The Joint Chiefs of Staff had met with the advisors to the President of the United States, President Joe Biden, in a private meeting and made it clear to them when they are meeting not to bring up any negative comments, negative connotations against Hunter Biden President Biden's son or the president himself when it comes to Ukraine. If they did, they could very easily lose their job. And then life for these chiefs that are on the Joint Chiefs would become very miserable, including the Joint Chiefs could lose their jobs. Now, I was told that 10 years prior which we're going back right here 10 years ago, roughly, there was one particular individual that lost their job as a result of Obama firing them, and they lost their pension to go with it. Now, I wasn't told whether it was an advisor or whether it was one of the generals, but I have been told that's just how serious this is. Now, as I look at the things that are going on, I realize that we are in a very, very serious time. And the situation that is currently taking place in this world is very troubling. The advisors to the president are fearful for telling the truth about Ukraine because they know they could lose their jobs. Not only that, 
we're dealing with a situation where Russia is on edge. Not so much on edge for invading Ukraine, but they're on edge because of the way they continually be, are thrown under the bus, sanctioned to death, and then bled to death by Hunter Biden and Joe Biden. And exposing this crime that the Hunter or the Biden family, which basically has been uh, compared to gangsters, exposing the crimes that they are doing in Ukraine is paramount at this point to avoid a war with Russia. And we're not talking about a war with Russia over Ukraine. We're talking about a war with Russia that will land right here on our doorsteps. Actually, I'm going to come back here to Ted Cruz here in just a moment here. Um, what do I mean by that? All right. Now we see that, you know, they're constantly saying that Russia is building up more troops, more forces on Ukraine. All right. They're showing the satellite footage there. You see some more armored vehicles there near the border of Ukraine. Back over in here. More, 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 more. Sure, Russia is getting ready for a war because Russia realizes they may end up in a war. Because what is NATO doing? NATO is also provoking Russia to war. Not only that, though, uh, we have, let me see here. Okay, I want to pull this one up for you here. This is on the Daily Mail. Justin Trudeau invited Chinese People's Liberation Army to train troops in Canada, according to top secret documents published by the Canadian conservative news site, which claims they were sending spies, not just soldiers, to train. What, what's this all about? Well, you know, some information, I'll say it like that, some information was achieved by the United States that China has agreed to do a invasion of our nation, a ground invasion in the event, in the event Russia decides they're going to go to war with us. And I've been told we're still at a seven, at a scale from one to 10, we're at a seven of a possibility of going to war over this whole mess. The State Department, and I don't know if they've announced it or not yet. I still have not been able to go back and check that out. Is already calling for pulling out our embassy personnel out of Moscow. Well, that tells Russia that, they're, that we would rather go to war than to negotiate with Russia to put an end to this crisis over Ukraine. And it's not that Russia wants to invade Ukraine. President Putin has made it clear after taking Crimea. Crimea was his main goal. He said eastern Ukraine, Luhansk and Donetsk, needs to be settled between Ukraine and the people of the Donetsk uh, re region there, or the Donetsk Republic, as they call themselves, the separatists. They need to come to an agreement. Russia said that they cannot go in there and they're not going to take that part of the country. That's something that they need to do, and they want autonomy because they are ethnic Russians. Understandably so. Look at the way they're doing. Ukraine has made it illegal to speak Russian in Ukraine. Diplomats. Uh, even even people that work for for uh, diplomats of, of Ukraine, if they're caught speaking Russian, could go to jail. And this is absurd. This is totalitarianism. This is uh, Adolf Hitler type style regime. Now, then you wonder, right? We wonder. Now, you can see the flag flying in the background. And of course, this here is they're wanting people to see what they're doing. Uh, to these uh, people over there that are, uh, well, let me just, let's do like this here because the, really what we need to look at, um, this to me has been a setup from the beginning. Okay, it's been a complete setup from the beginning. It, it was, of course, supposed to be, no doubt, for a good cause. Right? I don't say that it's not. I don't say that they, did, they weren't intending it to be for a good cause, right? Uh, but it's turned into be a major mess. And last I'd heard, there was even talk of, uh, of this turning into a situation of um, martial law. And why? 
The people mean well. I'll just say that. The people mean well. But I think they're being set up because if you can pull off martial law, then guess what's going to happen? China, in that case, in China, all their troops there that they've got in there that Justin Trudeau has in there for being able to, for these troops to be able to be trained, what are they, going to, what are they training for? Well, they're training for, to do exactly what the, the, the mission is, and that's to overthrow the United States. This is why we have gotten certain information that China's got your back, will invade. And then I've told, I was told that there are enough troops in Canada, Chinese troops in Canada, to launch an invasion on the United States. And then we see the issue with Cuba. Cuba to deepen its ties with Russia as Ukraine tensions mount. Sure they are. Why would Cuba, Cuba de deepen those ties? They've already deepened the ties. The Poseidon, the, uh, the Russian uh, drone sub that is nuclear capable, is on a regular basis floating off our coastlines right now. Remember the picture I showed you guys the other day? Orthodox community. This is this is from Hal Lindsey, or not Hal Lindsey, sorry. Um, I'm sorry, my bad. Hal Turner, radio show, put out this word on the streets here in New York City is that busloads of Hasidim are going to their summer bungalows, cottages in the Catskills region of New York State that's about 90 minutes north of New York City. Why? They're worried about some kind of a nuclear attack or a dirty bomb. I don't even know if I shared that with you guys or not. Uh, it was one of the intels that was given to me a little while back. It's been months ago now. I'd have to go back and find it. I have it in my notes somewhere. But uh, they were saying this is resurfacing. Dirty bombs are resurfacing. Once again, it's become a new threat, and this is something that we're facing. So the real problem is, though, that we've got to face is that, uh, you know, we've got to deal with this, this problem. And it's a real problem that we're facing. Now, let me jump back over here. I was going to share with you, too, with what Ted Cruz said. Let's listen to Ted Cruz here just for a moment here. I want you to hear what Ted Cruz says. And I'm going to elaborate a little bit about this, about Taiwan. Tragically, Europe is on the verge of war because of the weakness, the fecklessness of, of, of Joe Biden. Uh, you know, I heard a minute ago Admiral Kirby make reference to the, the Biden administration. I think he said, quote, we're still digesting what happened back in August. Joe Biden's surrender and disastrous retreat from Afghanistan it is the worst military catastrophe for the United States in decades. And the consequences at the time, I said, as a result of this incredible weakness, all of our enemies across the globe are looking to Washington. They are taking the measure of the man in the Oval Office. And as a result, as I said back in August, the chances of Russia invading Ukraine have just risen tenfold. The chances of China invading Taiwan have just risen tenfold. We're seeing the first of those two shoes dropping today because of Biden's weakness. But Bill, it's even worse than that. We had in place bipartisan policies to prevent what is happening. Okay. Thank you, Ted, for letting us know there. Tenfold increase of Taiwan. Taiwan is still on the books to get the invasion. And it is supposed to be invaded without firing a shot. And yes, Afghanistan was a disaster, but the commander commander in chief of um, uh, for the Pacific Fleet has already started taking measures to move and to scale down our troops in advance when it comes to Taiwan. We're making moves out of Taiwan. All right, that's what's going on, friends. And I mean, this is this is not a pretty picture. I wanted to share some of this with you. Uh, before I do this biblical teaching on the, the Gospel of John, uh, we got some serious problems going on. And if there's anything, any way, you guys know any kind of information that would expose Hunter Biden and, and his father that is happening there, this needs to be a media blitz. It has front page news everywhere. And, and I'll tell you, let me, let me be candid with you about this as well, right? I can tell you for a fact, they, there are those that would like this story to resurface and really go at the very heart of the problem. Hunter Biden and Joe Biden, that's causing the problems, basically the mobsters, like the Clintons were, Clintons were more soft mobsters. The Biden family is more hardcore mobsters in the White House. 
and the information needs to go viral. Because although I know many times they, they, they script these wars for New World Order and it's supposed to be, this is something that's supposed to be happening, uh, not now, but like in 2025, but they're concerned that the war is going to start this year now. And they know that the only way that this could be prevented is if somebody exposes this man. They try, and they tried to do this when he was running for office and he still got in. Of course, it's crooked, but he got in. So I wanted you guys to know. I want you to know what's really going on. That's why we have our Patreon channel here. You need to know, just like Obama, Biden will do the exact same thing. He will fire these people in a heartbeat. They're very nervous about it. Many of these people are at retirement age. They don't want to lose their pensions. They don't want to lose their contracts or whatever they may have. And so they have to keep their mouth shut. Well, we don't have to keep our mouth shut. So right now, I've put this here the way I've done it here. I have been trying to get in touch with some particular people in Ukraine directly, hoping to be able to bust this wide open once again. You know, even you remember I did, I, you know, I, I, listen, listen I, I'm not prejudiced either. When Trump, when I saw the dirty laundry he had out of Ukraine, I exposed that as well. Wasn't very liked about it, but I exposed it. Because they're all guilty of it. Even Russia's guilty of it. Putin is guilty of it. There's no doubt he's done his own little dirty work as well. But we're in a situation right now with, with, the, with Hunter Biden to where this could cause tens of thousands of lives to be lost as a result of a war that does, should not happen. I'm Steve Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live here on our Patreon channel. Please take this to heart. Share with me in the comments if you know any information that you could help us to go further this down uh, because I'm wanting to go deeper in the story and then put it on Israeli News Live and put it out there as viral as we possibly can at that point there. This one's just more private so I could share it with you from my heart about things that I know as much as I can share. I'll say it that way. Thank you for listening and God bless you.